Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create a printout using Microsoft Word. But before I do that, I just want to show you what is available in PowerPoint itself. So if I wanted to give notes to my students or printouts of this presentation about the Battle of Waterloo, within PowerPoint, you can go File Print, and then you have some settings in here where you can change how you want the slides to be printed. So you've got notes pages, where if there's any notes, they would be under there. And all these other options, just the outline of the presentation. If there's no text, it's just a symbol like that. And then the one that is most common is this one, I think, where people would maybe give this out at the beginning of a presentation so people can take notes. Personally, I don't like that idea because what that causes is people to read ahead and start looking at the slides and what's coming up so they're not listening to what you're saying. So if I was going to give that one out, I would give that out at the end. But what I would prefer to do is use a Word document and create a Word table from this presentation. Now to do that, you need to go to export and then you've got this option, create handouts. And it says put slides in notes and notes into a Word document. So that would drop it into a Word table. Edit in, then you can edit that in Word because it's a Word table. And you can also use paste link, which will automatically update any changes to the slides. So I'll show you that one. So if I click create handout, you get a similar looking list. Um, but this is going to be created into a Word document or inserted into a Word document and the paste link option is at the bottom here so I'm going to tick that one I'll leave it on the top option so if I had any notes it would be to the to the right of the slides and click OK and then in a couple of seconds it should create a Word document so just open that Word document as it starts generating each slide in a Word table it takes a couple of seconds depending on how many slides you've got, but now you've got a, a preview of each of the slides. If I just slide down a bit, you can see them all there. And if you wanted to, you could give this out as well and get, have the same issue where people would be writing while you're talking. So I would, if I was going to do this in a presentation, I would put my notes, or make sure my notes are there. So what I said on this slide is listed there not what people might have thought I heard or misheard, uh, what I thought I said or misheard, what I said. So I would have my notes there and then I would give these out at the end of the presentation. But just to show you that the link part of it works, I'm going to change the date of that in PowerPoint. So if I go back into PowerPoint and change that to 2016, uh, 1816, not 2016, I'll just save this PowerPoint so there's been a change and when I come back into this you can see that it's automatically picked up that change so I'll just go back into PowerPoint put that back to 1815 save the change and then your Word document has picked up that change so this document the slides within this document are always going to be up to date as up to date as any changes that you make in your presentation and of course you can distribute this online so people don't have to print it off and they can just make additional notes um, if they need to about any changes that you might you might have made so that's all i want you to talk about in this little session how you can create your different types of handouts the ones that come pre-loaded with powerpoint from this selection which are very common, or using the export feature to create handouts in Word. So thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.